Hey y'all, my name is Bethany or Budget Bethany and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Um, this video is going to be a cook and clean with me. Y'all have been asking for some more cleaning motivation so I wanted to throw y'all some in here this week. Um, YouTube really doesn't like to promote my videos unless it has some kind of foodie content in it so I'm going to be sharing a new dinner idea with y'all also. It's the stuffed show recipe so if you're needing a new meal idea and some cleaning motivation then just keep watching. y'all first things first for the stuffed shell recipe you'll need a box of jumbo shells two jars of marinara sauce or spaghetti sauce whichever one you prefer i've got two jars of marinara then you'll need a cup of ricotta cheese or whichever you call that and then a block of mozzarella cheese that's going to be shredded up and then i've got that little bit that's in that other pack that's already shredded and then you'll need a block of cream cheese and some salad is optional if you want a salad on the side that's what we're going to be doing with our salad mix it's just putting it on the side of our stuffed shells and then two zucchini that's also going to be a side and then i couldn't find the sausage that was in the tube so i'm just going to cut the casings off of those and use it like that so i've got my sausage in my pot browning i've cut it out the casings now so i got it going and then i'm cutting up my zucchini and i just cut the ends off and then i cut it in the circle shapes and i cut them kind of thin so they will cook quickly So y'all saw me cutting up the zucchini and I decided to cut it in half again because the zucchini was so big just for easier eating purposes. And then I'm going to cover with some vegetable oil and then I'm going to cover with some Parmesan cheese and bake that in the oven on 350 for about 10 to 15 minutes just until my zucchini is soft. But I do prefer my zucchini to be still kind of crunchy once it's done, but you cook yours however you prefer to eat yours. So I've got my zucchini in the oven and well actually you can see it over on the counter right here because I decided to split it up so you can kind of understand and follow the recipe better. But I've got the zucchini in the oven and then I've got my meat browning. So now I'm just going to get some water and my noodles to boil in right here so they can get soft and we can get ready to fill those shells with some yumminess. And also for my ground beef or no not my ground beef my ground sausage y'all i don't know i get confused but you can use ground beef in this recipe also i'm going to add some garlic powder and a little bit of italian seasoning all right so here's my favorite part and you're just going to be making this delicious yummy cheesy goodness that goes inside the shells it's my favorite part but you'll need your whole little cup of ricotta cheese and then i'm going to use the rest of that mozzarella cheese that's in that um, package that's already shredded and then i'm going to use a half a block of cream cheese and italian seasoning and some garlic powder but you can use whatever kind of seasonings that you prefer or that you want to add into yours i always say that and then i also will add a little bit of parmesan cheese and then you'll mix it up really well until it's smooth and then that'll be ready to fill into your noodles or your shells <laughs> Now I'm just going to be grating this block of mozzarella cheese. It just tastes better to me this way. And then I'm going to be using this to sprinkle on top of the stuffed shells once I get everything else assembled. 
and then once your sausage or ground beef whichever one you choose to use gets through browning you'll just pour in your jars of marinara sauce and I did only use one jar in the meat sauce and then I used the other jar I think I used about a half of the jar just to kind of like add a little bit more sauce because I do like a little more sauce in mine than normal but if you don't like as much sauce then I would recommend that you only use the one jar Alright, so now we're ready to start assembling our stuffed shells and in the bottom of your baking dish you'll just add some of the meat and sauce mixture and then you know you'll cover the whole bottom of your pan with that and then you will get your noodles or your shells whichever one you're calling it and then you will start stuffing them with the ricotta cheese mixture and then just placing it into the meat and sauce mixture you want to fill your whole pan with the shells and the cheese ricotta cheese mixture and then when you get through with that you can top with your mozzarella cheese but I like to top with some more um, marinara sauce just because I like mine really saucy like I said and then I had a little bit of this ricotta cheese mixture left over so I just added that on top also to keep from wasting it and then that was it I baked mine in the oven for a 350 for about 15 to 20 minutes you just kind of want to get all those ingredients mixed well together and your cheese melted is because everything else is basically cooked so you don't have to bake it for really really long While my stuffed shells and my zucchini are in the oven baking, I'm just going to assemble my salad. And I just got that pre-packaged salad mix from Walmart with the cabbage and the carrots and stuff like that in it. And I'm just going to add this mozzarella cheese to it and give that a little toss and that's going to be our salad. Alright y'all, here it is. Here's our stuffed shells and our parmesan zucchini and then our salad and we're just going to eat some french style dressing on top and that's gonna be dinner for tonight So now it's time for the most exciting part of all of this video. It's the cleaning part because I know all you mamas love to clean up every day, all day, and especially doing the dishes, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding with y'all. Um, but you know, it's something that has to be done and us mamas usually are the ones that do it best. So if you're needing some motivation and your kitchen is a mess, go get in your kitchen and clean with me and we can get this done together, y'all.
a few months back the dome power wash was all the rave for all the cleaning youtubers or cleaning mamas but y'all i really didn't see any difference from that than just soaking it with some water and some dish soap so if y'all had any look like better look than i have leave me in the comments below if you really really enjoyed the dawn power wash or if you're like me and you just didn't see all the hype about it going to be putting away the leftovers and cleaning off the stove and the counter so that I can give them a good wipe down and disinfect them really good. Alright, so the spraying of the Lysol on the stove and the counters is pretty much my nightly routine. I do that every night just to get rid of all the germs that were brought in throughout the day. I also like to spray it on my kitchen table and my refrigerator also, especially on the door handles where the kids have been handling it all day. Um, on this night, I'm using the Lysol lemon scent, but I prefer to use the hydrogen peroxide scent. It's my favorite, so if you haven't tried that, give it a try. I promise you it smells way, way better than the lemon scent. I used to think the lemon scent was my favorite but now I'm kind of hooked on the hydrogen peroxide scent. So go give it a try if you haven't already, y'all. So y'all, I'm not super mom and I do not dry my dishes every night, but for video purposes, I'm going to be drying my dishes and putting them away. And well, there that wind. <laughs> I wish I could hear the loudness of it, but the kids hollered really, really loud and I figured that might would hurt y'all's ears because it scared them so, so bad. But anyway, I'm just going to dry my dishes and put them away, like I said, because for video purposes, I wanted to give y'all this motivation to get your kitchen fully clean because most of the time I just leave my dishes piled up. And there went another pan. It almost hit me on the head, y'all. I don't know. I'm just in a really big hurry to get this kitchen cleaned up because mama is ready for some quiet mama time. I know you all can relate. <music>
I know the lighting is really dark in here, but y'all, I was cleaning and filming this video in between bath time and getting kids in bed. So, all the lights were out so they would go to sleep and I did not want to turn them on and mess them up. So, please ignore the really dark lighting in this clip. Alright y'all, that's it for this video. I hope y'all got lots of cleaning motivation and a meal idea. Y'all seen my veggies right there. I figured y'all were probably wondering what was in that big old wash tub in my floor. That's just my veggies. But I wanted to say thank y'all for watching and I hope y'all got a meal idea out of this video and lots of cleaning motivation. Um, I wanted to say thank y'all all for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Bye y'all.